that's that's not the way that goes. Oh sure, that's a that's a good thing. Get rid of the cops so the criminals just have free run. Yeah. Yeah. And it's every man for himself. I always said, Jimmy, the defunding, demoralizing of the police is a green light Come on. for criminals. That's what's going on. They got the green light and they and they know that they got that, that green light, that's why they're doing what they're doing. All right. Well, hey, I, I got this uh, cyber demon. Uh, I think she's responding to me. Says she's down. Cyber demon, are you out there? You say you're down. Come on with it. We're gonna take. Did they really block down Facebook? Didn't they? Yeah, they they took my page down on Facebook, so we had to go to another one. So we're good. My son, before I let you go, has a program in Spanish, Monday to Friday at at seven o'clock on three platforms. He was just um, blocked. Uh, 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 on YouTube, guess, guess when they gave him his return date? When? November 4th, 2020. <laughs> after <laughs> election. <laughs> Look, they, they, uh, they, they cleared it up because I, I protested it. You know, I disagreed with it. And they, they said, uh, you're clear. So I waited a little while. When I started back up, I went to the page and it said, you can't post until, uh, uh, September the 14th. So they give me another 30 day ban. It's somebody, uh, probably one of those viewers that you got, Jamie, that they're reporting, uh, they're reporting you or, 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 or well, these, these haters, uh, these trolls that they, they find joy in reporting at the conservative, uh, live broadcast. Yeah, they, 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 they get, they, the they get, they get off on getting people silenced. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, we don't want to hear what they got to say, so we'll just get them where they can't say nothing to nobody. And I'm going to let you go, Jerry, but one thing that I, I noticed is that if you look, there are tons and tons of conservative live broadcasters, and if you notice, you hardly see any liberal live broadcasters. You don't see as many. And that's because don't nobody want to listen to their bullshit. Exactly. So that's a sign of what it's going to look like in November when you see a movement like well, Valencia, the, stop spamming. Uh, Go ahead. Mm -hmm. I was telling somebody mm -hmm. on here to stop spamming. Valencia, you've been warned. Stop spamming. Now, Daddy's uh -huh. going to have to show you. Daddy will show you. Daddy, thank you very much, fellas. Hey. Very much All right, man. You have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, buddy. All right, man. Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you, sir. Valencia. All right, y'all. All y'all out there. Valencia don't want to listen to Daddy. He's done told her a couple of times. Now, Daddy's been had to get up out of his chair, put his cold beer down, or put his big glass of liberal tears down. Hold on a minute. Uh, put a big glass down. Flatter, what's the name? Where are you calling from? Hello? Hello? This is CyberDemon531. CyberDemon, what's up? The, uh, the, the ceiling and the sky it is currently raining where I'm located. <laughs> All right, yeah, I was I, I was watching your I was checking to see about the Stone Mountain thing, and I was okay. you know looking and I seen you were on there and you were posting things, videos from there. I reckon you were just commenting on other people's feeds. That's correct. All right, so I, I was so I don't want to disparage you know because I go he said are you are you a guy or a girl. I am a woman. Okay, you're a woman. I, I figured you was because you had long hair, but I didn't want to. Correct. I didn't want to go off on that. But I see on there you were talking about, yeah, bully the racist, bully the racist. You're in favor of bullying people. Now, did you see all of my videos, or just that one specifically? Just that one specific video where you were talking about bully the racist. Okay. So is this the clip where the guy had the Confederate flag and yes. uh, the Antifa person was making fun of them? Yes. So what, what do you think that that's problematic? What, bullying people? Well, I think bullying people is an exercise of free speech, personally. Well, wouldn't that be an uh, exercise of free speech of him having a, a Confederate flag? They're both exercising free speech. But you're in favor of bullying someone. Sure, I'm in favor of free speech. Well, I thought I thought the left were against bullying. I thought that was a bad thing. Well, maybe you're you're uh, 
you're thinking of the less tribute to me. Yeah. So are, are you, I'm assuming you're liberal. I am not a liberal. I am an anti-fascist. So somebody shutting down somebody's free speech, wouldn't that be fascist? I do not think so. As fascism implies control of the government. Fascism is shutting someone's free speech down. Where did you get that definition from? Uh, from the dictionary back when I was in school about 25 years ago. When did okay. you, where did you Can get I your definition? Real quick? Oh, well, it's the definition has changed. Y'all have okay. changed. The, the liberal left have changed the definition of, of a fascist. So real quick, I have a question for you because you keep saying liberal. What do you think of when you think of liberal? Uh, you want me to be honest with you? Yes. Morons. Okay. Well, I, I want more like specificity on, on policy. All right, so fascism here. Nancy Pelosi a liberal? Oh, yes. So I do as well, which is why I do not identify with the term liberal because we leftists, the Antifa people, we hate both Democrats. Oh, so and you're a so you're an Antifa, uh, yeah, supporter. Yeah, no, I'm not just a supporter. I'm involved. Oh, so you're involved. So you're in favor of burning and tearing down things. I do not remember being in favor of that. I'm in favor of opposing fascism. Well, what is your definition of fascism? When the government, for example, uses unmarked cars to kidnap protesters without identifying themselves, that would be fascism. Well, they weren't. They weren't unmarked. They had uh, all the insignia on their on their outfits. Only thing they didn't have was name tags. Are, are we talking about Portland? Yes. Because they did not have any insignia. They were using rented minivans. Oh, the the cars they were in were were unmarked, but the the outfits that they had on. Clearly said police on the back of them. Clearly had ice. Are you saying, are you ice saying that anyone can sew together a police sticker oh, yeah, on, a, sure. on a costume and then sure. start kidnapping people with sure. an identification? That's not kidnapping people. And what they were doing was they were going, they were letting the Antifa crowd do their thing. And when they dispersed, then they were going in and getting the ringleaders. Right. Now, let me ask you do you, get, so, do you get a check from, do you get paid to do your protesting? I get paid from YouTube to make YouTube videos. That's about it. No, no, the protest. Have you have you been to any protest? I have been to several protests. Have you been paid to be at any of them? No. Okay. Because a lot of the a lot of the people that they were picking up are are being paid to organize these things. Do you have evidence of that? Oh yeah, the, Bill Barr talked about it when he was doing it when they were doing his uh uh hearing in the in Congress last week. What, what did he say specifically? And what well, one, one of the one of the people questioning him said, "Are y'all collecting uh, evidence from people in the crowd? You know, I'm, I'm assuming it's electronic evidence where they can uh, go out and, and data collect from objects that's in the in the crowd." Now I know there've been 155 arrests made, and most right. of these most of these are Antifa people. So, so what, what do y'all what do y'all get? What is Antifa against again? Tell me that. We are against government tyranny. Have you ever heard the term "Don't tread on me"? Oh yeah, that's a three percenter thing. Well, no, that actually uh, originates in people being on uh, opposition to government outreach and tyranny. So when, uh, for example, government employees have no badges. And no identification other than what could potentially be homemade police uniforms. Well, they had they had all. Uh, well, they they had everything on their uniforms except for their name tags. They took their name tags off because people in your group like to uh, what do they call it? Um, dox dox. people. Yeah, it's people in your group like to dox people. Public servant. If oh. a, if someone is serving the public, they cannot be doxed. Well, if you don't know who it is, you can't dox them. If you don't know who the individual is. That's why they took their name tags off. Do you have any children? Yes. If someone in a police uniform with no other identification, just they had police written on their uniform, kidnapped your child? My kids wouldn't be hanging out up there to protest. Like well, no, 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 I'm just giving you a hypothetical. Yeah. Like what you're saying is that anyone can wear like a Halloween costume and go shove people into cars and no. that that's okay? Yes. When, when people are, are burning down 
courthouses. Well, well sure. there's no evidence of that in a lot of cases. But like this is the problem with government overreach. Because it's not the government, government overreach. is supposed to identify itself as the government. They do. It so says police on the unit. It does identify them. It says police on the front and the back of the I okay. seen I seen the, the Halloween costume. I, I, well, it could be a Halloween costume with a name on it too. Yes, that's correct. Yes, but these people are being well, on there. You could look up the name in a public database and verify that that's not actually an officer. And then you could also dox them and go and threaten their families, which a lot of a lot of people in Antifa like to do. Okay. That, so you think that's okay to threaten someone's family and home? I do not think that's okay. Well, just like well, I, don't, I don't think it's possible to dock someone who is in a public database who is a public employee. It's not in, it's not possible to do that. Well, they are their job that they the job that they signed up for is to be a public employee of the state and yes. to serve and protect the community. Yes. So therefore, they do not have a right to privacy that a normal private citizen would have. Well, like I said, I think they're doing this because y'all on the Antifa side are threatening to attack them and go into their homes. But now picking up these, these protesters at these things uh, because they're burning down courthouses or trying to. They're blinding right. blinding federal officers with the lasers. That's not a, quick question. that's not a peaceful <laughs> protest. That's a riot. Okay, but I have a question for you. Sure. This is a two parter. So how do you feel about the statues being removed? I think that's a criminal act. It shouldn't be took down. So how do you feel about the Revolutionary War? The Revolutionary War? Yeah, like George Washington. Was oh, that was a terrible. great war. We got our independence from uh, tyrants. So you know what they did, right? They tore down statues of King George III, melted them down into bullets, and shot the cops with them. You no, know that, right? No. Are you talking about the Boston Tea Party? We're talking about the Revolutionary War? Oh, yeah. That's probably after the war started. We, we probably did that. We melted it down. So... Did you know that there were two separate classes, loyalists, the people that were loyal to the government, and patriots, the people that were yes. rebelling against the government? Yes. So what side would you have said that you were on? I would have been on the patriot, patriot side. So you would have been on the patriot side in the 1770s, but now all of a sudden you're on the loyalist side? No, I'm still on the patriot side. I'm a law and, order, I'm a law and order kind of person. If you want to tear down right. statues... Because we're we're not in a war right now. We're not trying to get away from tyranny. They, there were they weren't in a war during the revolution. The revolution started becoming a war after they did things like tear down statues, which you would have been against because you're in favor. No, of it's order, not. Right? That's, no, they didn't start tearing down statues. What y'all are doing now? Y'all are going out tearing down things that y'all think of, uh, upset y'all. Now, if you want to, yeah, if you want to take them down, Washington if you want, Garden. well, if you want to take them down, if you want to take them down in America, we have a process. You let the people in that town vote on it. You don't just get to come in and tear it down because your tax dollars weren't the only ones, the ones that put it up. So you let the people well, in, actually, in the city. In a lot of these instances, tax dollars weren't used. For example, the daughters of the Confederacy in the 1880s uh -huh. to the 1920s utilize their own private funds to get held KKK gatherings as statues. Uh-huh. So what gives y'all the right to tear down somebody else's property? Well, what gives George Washington the right to tear down a statue of King George III? Well, we were at war with King George III when he tore it down. Well, we are at war with Donald Trump and the government. Why are you at war with Donald Trump? And the government. Why are you at war with the government? Because the government is not providing for its citizens. What do you mean it's not provided? What, is, what does the government owe you? The government, the tax system that I pay into, I pay money in taxes. Uh -huh. That should be utilized to give people the money when, say, there is a crisis like the coronavirus pandemic. We did. Which we, case, we, we got a act, which was a bipartisan bill, funneled three point five trillion dollars to big corporations and only. Oh, are you talking about like the Kennedy Art Center? Is that what you're talking about, like the Kennedy Kennedy Art Center? Sure. Yeah, I got I got a check. Did you get a check? I did get a check, but half of my family did not get a check. Why well, did they did they pay taxes? Some of the people in my family are 19 years old and did not file taxes in the year of 2018. Well, that's why they didn't get a check back. Exactly. Instead of using the 2018 tax year, they could have just given everyone a check. 
but they decided not to because they didn't want to actually give people the money that they were paying into the system. No, they, they give money to people that had paid into the system. So you're saying children don't deserve to have money? No, not if they're not paying taxes, no. Well, my brother is 19 years old and he's had a job since he was 18 and has been paying, paying taxes for a year and a half. So are you saying he doesn't? So he should have he should have filed taxes last year, then. He did not because the 2018 filing deadline was before he started working. Well, that's a well, it's a, a time thing. It's a time constraint. See, my thing is, you're defending the government. I'm not defending the government. This I'm not defending. I'm not defending Nancy Pelosi, who I think is a ghoul. I think yeah. she is the devil incarnate. Right? Oh, she is. So I'm sure you can agree with me. Oh, yes. And Mitch McConnell, who yes. as well is also the devil incarnate. Yes, I agree with you on that. together to screw the American people. And yes. that is why I think we should be at war with the government. But that's why Trump is going after these people. Do you do you not really realize what's I'm really going after these people? He's not? No, he's not. Oh, he is. You just don't see it because you're you're so angry. No, no, I'm actually calm right now. But I'm saying you don't you don't see it because you're so angry. The people that he's going after, showing how these people have been raping and pillaging from American citizens for decades. And yet, what has he done about it? Well, let's see. Uh, you just had a FBI agent plead guilty for uh, doctoring emails from spying on. What does well, that have to do with thirty million children that are starving? Or malnourished? 30 million children that are starving. Yes. There is a recent study that said there are about 30 million people under the age of 18 that are either malnourished or undernourished. So who is res- who is pandemic. responsible for them children? I would say every single governing official is responsible. Donald Trump, Nancy Pelosi, wow. Mitch McConnell, Chuck Schumer, and so on. So I would say the parents are responsible. So the parents that lost their job because the Democrats shut down the economy, it's their fault? Well, it wasn't the Democrats. It was the, it was the mayors and the governors that shut down the economy. Well, that are mostly Democratic, correct? No, well, no. Shut you down get, the economy and, and millions of people lost their jobs. No, you got 20, 26 and 24, something like that, Democrats and Republican governors. I don't think we should ever shut down the, the economy. Well, either way, it happened. And yet the Democrats in Congress did nothing to help those people. No. We're just saying it's the parents' fault because the Democrats shut down the economy. Is no, that right? no I, th- I think it's the parents' fault that their children are hungry. It's not well, the government's it's responsibility. It's not the if government's responsibility. the Democrats res- shut down the economy, yeah, how is it, that your fault? You were a hardworking American. A lot of these people I still wor- I'm still at work. I'm years still at work. And all of a sudden. I'm still at work. I haven't stopped working. I wouldn't have stopped working if I'd have been... Uh, in another job, I would have went to work. If my boss would have stopped uh, employing me, I would have went and did something else. I would have went and got another job. I, I would have so been responsible for my family. Jobs in your field. Huh? What if there weren't any jobs in your field? Then I would get a job in another field. I would be responsible and take care no of my family. Well, sure there are. McDonald's was open. Wendy's was open. So if, I'm a, if I'm a parent, hold up. Thousands of people at a store? It's usually when I go there, there's only like maybe three or four people that are yeah. working there. You know why that is? They hire a few hundred people. You know why that is? Why there's only three or four working there? Why is that? Because people are out there bitching about, we want $15 minimum wage. And so the... the, the $15 the, minimum wage. So that's an irrelevant talking point. Well, that, that's what happens. Minimum wage and is $7.25. Yeah, but I'm talking about the ones that are hollering for a $15 minimum wage. And well, then, that doesn't matter. And then the business, hold on a minute. And then the business owners turn around and go, we'll just hire a kiosk out here and you're out of a job. But I, being a parent, I would have got a job anywhere I had to, to take care of my family. I wouldn't depend is, on the government. There was no job available, is my question to you. Because but, again, the Democrats. But that's not the case. The but that's not the case. There are jobs available. That is not true. There it are is. less jobs open than there are citizens, especially when the economy has been shut down? No, ma'am, there's not. You're telling me that there's, say, 400 million jobs available and, say, three and a half million? Three hundred, or 400 million jobs available with 350,000 odd Americans? Is that what you're saying? No, because, the, no, because the working uh, group in this country is not 400 million. Well, you saying there's more jobs than there are people in America. Yes. That's what you said, correct? Yes, yes. 
Yes. The, net, if the population of the United States of America is about 350 million. Three fifty. Maybe so. Is there 355 million jobs? Well, there's not that. All of the, the population in America is not working age. A lot of them have retired. Well, a lot of them are children. Okay, so working age, whatever the working age is, let's say it's 275 million. Are you saying there's okay. 480 million available jobs, sure. especially when the economy is shut down? Sure. That's why a lot of people were out protesting to open the states back up, and it wasn't opened back up by Democratic mayors and governors because they're trying to hurt Donald Trump's economy yeah. because they don't want him no, to no. be able to run on that. The Democrats and the Republicans are in on the same game. It's a play. Have you ever seen Hamilton? It's pretty yeah. garbage. Yes. What they're is. doing in real time? Yes. It's all an act. There well, are, I, I live in I live in a Republican-run state, and, and our governor opened Georgia, our, Yeah, our our governor opened back up right after the pandemic, but I never stopped. I'm an essential worker. I work on big trucks. So we've right. worked the whole but time. everyone is an essential worker. Well, I would say everybody's an essential worker. I would say everybody's an essential worker. I agree with you in that case, but as far as the, the government distinction is concerned, not everyone is an essential worker. Well, the government don't have a right to come in and tell you you can't open up your business. I do agree with that. But either way, we still had multiple states shut down their economies and not provide anything for the citizens that were left jobless. Well, they weren't. They weren't, that was not true because they were getting they were getting six hundred dollars a week unemployment. They were making well, more money to work for people that were self employed. For example, people that self employed didn't get nothing. The musician, the people that are self employed, didn't get nothing. Exactly. Yeah, they just lost their ability to work and then also no. provide for the well, 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 so so you're playing with numbers here. We, if everybody's getting unemployment that had a job, except for the self-employed ones, they're getting a check. They're getting six hundred dollars a week. Six hundred a on week. Top of their normal benefit. That's more than what they were making when they were at work. Now a lot of these people have decided to stay at home and still receive that check when their job is open back up. I don't think that should that should be allowed. I think that if, if your so job opens back up, unemployment works. Have you ever been on unemployment? Yes. Yes. So are you aware that when the economy opens back up and then you're required to go back to work, that your employer can actually tell unemployment yes. that your job is actually not shut down anymore yes. and therefore you quit your job instead of we're fired? Yes. If you quit, you're not eligible for unemployment? Yes. That's, that was another thing that Steve Moochin was pointing out when they were trying to open everything back up, when they were getting $600 a week and people weren't going back to their job. But they were, he said, hey, y'all, y'all, if your job opens back up, you got to go back to work. Exactly. Yes. But you just said that people were staying home instead of working to collect unemployment, which is untrue. Yeah. Well, no, they were staying home. That's why they brought that up. Well, but you're conflicting here. You're saying that when you when your job opens up, you can't stay home anymore. Well, then why would they have to make that point? Why would they have to make that point? Apparently, somebody was doing something where they were still receiving benefits to be at home, or they wouldn't have had to I make think, that point. I think that politicians made that point because they want you to, instead of looking at them looting the treasury and printing $3.5 trillion for big corporations, instead of looking at them doing that, you're looking at the little poor person who ah, maybe they stop by on like an extra week of $600. The, the big corporations. They want you to be distracted. The big corporations. Who are you talking about, the big corporations? We're talking about Exxon, for example, that files multiple uh, businesses as small businesses to yield into the small business loan program. Yes. Were they able to do that? Yes, they were. So, if I remember correctly, I think it's only like fifteen percent of the small business loans. So it was perfectly legal for were actually sent to small businesses. So it was perfectly legal for them to do that, though. Yes. Do you think legal means correct? Yes. If they, so they, do you think people that smoke marijuana should be sentenced to life in prison? No. I think you should legalize every drug. Okay. So, but. You think that people who smoke marijuana deserve life in prison, though, because that's the no. law. And a lot no, of that's not that. the law. You don't get you don't get life in prison for smoking weed. In a lot of instances, yes, you do. Well, it depends on if, if, you're, if you're if you're in a three strike state, state and you and you've already been charged twice before for something, and this is your third strike. Yeah, maybe you might be looking at life in prison. But no, I don't agree that's with that. Correct, then. That's more. Well, I don't. Agree, I don't agree with that. No. Well, you just said it was legal, therefore it's correct. And as far as the CARES Act which again was mostly architected by Nancy Pelosi, which you claim to hate. All of a sudden the CARES Act is okay? What, what, what because is, it's legal? No, I'm saying I don't think you should get life in prison for smoking weed. And you said, well, some people do. I said, maybe if, if you've got a, 
the three strike law against you and, and they well, charge my, you. My with. point is you're saying that you're for law and order. Yes, I'm for law and order. Don't think people should be in prison for you know for their lives if they violate the three strike law. So are you not for law and order? Yes, I'm for law and order. order. If you violate, like, what is the, the I, no, I'm for law and order. And if you violate the three strikes law and you go to for jail for life, if that's the law, you broke the law. Nobody made you do it. Okay. I'm for so people being held accountable. I'm for people being held accountable for their actions, regardless. So, what, and so like, let's let's talk about this in a more ethereal standpoint, not regards to the law. What are actions that you think people should be held accountable for, like violence on others, for example? Yes. So why would people be held accountable for smoking marijuana when that does not hurt anyone? Well, it's a law, but you, I thought you were talking about just, uh, so do you want me to list off everything that I'm in favor of the law? Well, you, you said that the CARES Act was okay because it was legal. So I'm wondering why you think that, that it's okay that we can... Well, you ought to tell me what the CARES Act did. What, do you, what is the... What is the CARES Act? The CARES Act that was part, uh, passed, I think, in uh, April or March that gave us the stimulus check, uh -huh. the small business loan, uh -huh. the one where they printed $3.5 trillion of our tax money to be sent to big corporations while there are 30 million approximately starving children. But the, the, I think that that is morally unacceptable. But that was to keep the businesses afloat, right? Well, big businesses that have billions of dollars in salaries for their CEOs don't need small business loans. They don't. Business loans should be reserved for, say, a mom and pop shop. Well, I got, I got one. You got a small business loan? Yes. Well, that's great. Interest so free. People who didn't. Interest free. It's interest free because most of the the corporations got it. Well, no, it's only interest free if you use it for payroll. I think it was said. I'd have to go back and read the paperwork. You had to use so much of it for payroll for it to be interest free. Okay. But, uh, the point being, though, is that not every small business got the loan because of the very archaic procedure that you had to go through. What archaic procedure? What archaic procedure? Uneligible. What archaic procedure? You had to apply for it. Exactly. Instead of everyone getting it by default. So they could just send them. What if that business was out of business? They they just send them a, what if that business was out of business? And the loan that you get is based on your payroll. Right. So you have to apply for it. That's not archaic. It is archaic. This is the 21st century. This is okay. not the 19th or 20th. Yeah, I did it online. I didn't have to tie it to a pigeon's leg and fly it down there to them. Well, I, I applied have, online. It wasn't and, real hard. The media, which is owned by corporations, the same people that donate to Mitch McConnell and Nancy Pelosi, uh -huh. are obfuscating and not telling people exactly how to do things and what to do. A lot of people just don't get that information. Well, all you got to do is call. Why do you have to have somebody hold your hand? I wouldn't say it's holding your hand. I would say if I'm paying tax dollars and if there is a big stimulus package, then I should be automatically eligible for it. I don't think I should go through who. Well, you are eligible okay. for it. You are eligible for it. You have to fill out paperwork, show them your payroll, and then they base base how much money you're going to get based on your payroll. It wasn't hard. Right. And look, I'm a dumb old white guy. Sure. So I did it. It's not a it's not a tough. Well, I didn't do it. My ladies. In the I'm office. not saying it's necessarily difficult, but what I'm saying is there are going to be margins where not every small business owner is going to receive. Well, er everything. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but everything's not always going to be peaches and cream, you know. So what you're saying is it's okay when someone's business cr like crashes and burns because they couldn't get that two week period because the media wouldn't tell them how to use the CARES Act properly. No, that's okay. I think it don't matter because people like Antifa come through and burn their businesses to the ground. Have, can you provide evidence of Antifa burning a mom and pop shop down? Because I've only sure. seen them burn burn corporate stores. So that's okay. Yeah, I don't like corporations. So you think it's okay. So you're a criminal. I'm not a criminal. A criminal is someone that violates the law. I do not violate the law. Burning down a corporate store is violating the law. That's called arson. Well, I never did that. But you're you're okay with it. In the same way that the revolutionary uh, people in 1770s. Y'all wouldn't have, y'all wouldn't have survived. Yes, I'm okay with it. Y'all wouldn't have survived. Same way that the Boston Tea Party threw tea over the ship. I'm okay with it. Yes. 
Y'all wouldn't have survived in the Revolutionary War. A lot of y'all are, I don't know what y'all are so angry at. Y'all have it so easy in this country. You're, I mean, you're sure not being able to you're eat ungrateful. the time is pretty easy. There are 40 million people that are about to be evicted whenever this moratorium thing that Trump kind of tried to sign runs out. What, uh, the first of the year? Are going to lose well, he, what he signed. So easy, don't they? So what he signed goes to the first of the year. So, so you, you're going to give but, Trump pr credit for that? Of renters. Are you going to give Trump credit for that? Renters in West Virginia are going to be homeless as soon as that expires. Well, that's the, at the first of the year. Right. Trump extended it. The economy it. is not opening fully in a lot of these states. Trump extended that, only, the, ex the eviction thing, until the first of the year. So would you give him credit for that? Because Congress didn't do anything. Congress did not do anything. And would you I give would Trump credit? Given though? Trump credit, if he did a rent moratorium as well, but he did not, which means that people are going to accrue debts which they cannot pay back, which only kicks the can down the road and has them be homeless if Joe Biden wins. Which well, they can't I don't be. Think very likely. Well, they can't if be. If he does, Joe Biden is going to inherit an economy with forty million homeless people. I think that is is, is a strategy to basically extort the American people. Re-elect me and maybe I'll fix it. If you don't re-elect me, then I'm just going to let this crash and burn and have Joe Biden take the bill. I think what he's doing is called extortion. You think that's extortion for... Well, he, he gave the Congress a chance. He said, if y'all don't do anything... He failed. I'm, huh? And they, Congress failed. Yeah, Congress failed. So he did an EO. He extended uh, no evictions, uh, no student loan debt, payroll tax... Uh, getting rid of in September and uh, $400 a, a week for unemployment. That's, that's the EOs Trump Trump wrote the other day. I would say it's better than nothing. Yeah, yeah, but okay. when you factor Thank in you. that we pay, the American people pay taxes every single year and as soon as a crisis happens, it takes months for that executive order? Why didn't that happen in February or March? Like I said, I don't think we should have closed down the economy at all. Well, I mean, we can agree to disagree on that, but I think the economy being closed down could have theoretically been a good thing if it were handled well. The problem is they closed it and didn't do anything and let people starve. So I would have preferred who it. Star to who's starving first. out there? Who's starving out there? There are many people starving. Who? I make videos all the time about food banks. Have you ever been to a food bank? Well, have you ever made a video of somebody that's starving? Yes, I have. So, I cover food banks in the starvation rate. Uh, no, 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 not not just. I, I want to see people like like they go over to Africa and they film little kids with their bellies bloated and flies flying on their eyes. Have you did any videos like that in America of children starving? In that particular description, no. But I have interviewed people that say couldn't eat for several days because they have to pay rent or pay their light bill or something like that. Well, that's called making choices. That's what you have to do when you're it's a grown. Okay to be malnourished. Well, I guarantee you, you ain't seen nobody malnourished in America. I definitely have. Uh, well, I would love to see them pictures. America is obese. Look at me. Obesity does not necessarily mean you're malnourished. Malnourished means that you do not get the nutrients that your body needs in order to function at peak capacity. Yeah. Malnourished does not imply that you're dying of starvation in our skin and bones. Now, look, you could possibly be malnourished. I probably could. So what do you... That's what I'm saying. You're playing with words here. It's like you're going, America's kids are starving. They're, they're dying because the government ain't feeding them. The government's not supposed to feed you. Your parents are supposed to feed you. Yeah, but what if, again, we already talked about this. What if your parents lose the job because the Democrats shut down the economy? Then your parents need to say, I don't know, do an executive order that helps them make ends meet. Then your parents need to be working on something. They should have money put back. They should be saving money. They shouldn't be should blowing. Be correct. Okay, you so know that that's I called being responsible, though. Of Americans, say that again. I said that's called being responsible. And that's, you want the government, you. you want the, the government to be there like a America, safety net. The year 2019 did not have four hundred dollars or more in their savings account. And whose fault is that? Whose fault is that? That is the entire American system of government. No, that's all the, our citizens. No, how much money you got in the bank? We have failed. How much money do you have in the bank? I have about. Last time I checked, a hundred bucks. Damn. Give or take. You need to be making some better decisions. Do you work? I do. And and you don't have but a hundred dollars in the bank. Nope. I also don't have kids, so I only worry about myself. You ain't got no cats or nothing. Nope. Just you alone. 
Well, I live with my family, and I pay part, like percentage of rent and utilities and so forth. Well, that ain't right. Why you got to pay rent? Because we all work together. There you go. It's called responsibility. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. So are you denying like that there are starving children? Are you denying that there are irresponsible parents? Or are you saying that... I'm denying that there are starving children in America. I'm denying that. Well, I mean, I, I would implore you to look that up. Just look up, like, how many children in America are undernourished or malnourished. Now, there might be some kids in the Appalachian Mountains or something like that that might be starving. But most kids, uh, you know, there's food banks set up everywhere. There's churches that help out the needy. Uh, there's... Uh, Look, I work in the, the trucking industry. There's places that have, guys that have come in, they had loads of uh, food on their truck, like bread. And they couldn't, they, they, they rejected it, wouldn't take it. I called food banks all over Atlanta looking to, hey, will y'all take this bread? No. Y'all are a food bank. Why won't you take the, oh, we only accept cash donations. Yeah, that is the problem. Yeah, that's a problem. Like if you're I, said, food I think bank, the entire system of governance is collapsing. I think America is a failed state. I think this is the best country in the world. If it's the best country in the world, then how come people are sick and dying of a preventable disease? I don't know. If this is, if this is the worst country in the world, why are people breaking into it? Well, I'm not saying it's the worst. I'm not saying it's the best. Oh, it's the best. There ain't nobody breaking in nowhere else. That's incorrect. A lot of people are actually escaping America, but what? actually most European countries have banned to travel to and from America, so a lot of people are stuck in America. There's also an astounding amount of people trying to escape into Canada. Escape into Canada? Yes, that's correct. Why would you want to go to Canada? Because Canada guaranteed every citizen $2,000 a month as long as their job was not uh, in service to the economy setting down. And, and where's that and money coming? Where's that money coming from? Two thousand dollars a month. Where's that money coming from? That's coming from the tax dollars that the citizens of Canada Canada pay into. Uh -huh. It's that. It's just that instead of giving all that money to big corporations and rich people, they gave that money back to the citizens. Big big corporations and rich people. Yes, that's correct. How how many jobs have you ever got from a poor person? What does that mean? How many jobs have you ever got from a poor person? Define poor and define jobs. I work for people that I know all the time. If they need help doing something, hey, fix this. I'll try my best. Have you ever got a job from a poor person? Yes, I have. Were they so paid? Were they, they paid you away? And say they only have a hundred bucks in their account. I would accept that. I would take ten, maybe twenty, and I would mow their lawn. Uh, uh, how much do you think you should be getting paid to mow somebody's lawn? I, that's up to us to decide. Yeah, but if they only got a hundred bucks, I would cut my own grass and save that ten dollars. Well, what if they don't have a working lawnmower? Then it looks like my grass is gonna grow. If I don't have no, if I don't have but a hundred bucks in the jobs. bank, the economy provides jobs. Rich people do not create food; they have workers create the food. Rich people are just overseeing it and putting their brand and logo on top of the food. No, that's not all they're doing. They're putting the the capital up to grow it. They're putting the capital up for the land that's grown on. So how did we get food before rich people? We grew it ourselves. Right. So why don't we just do that now? Well, you can if you've got enough land. Sure. So would you advocate for getting rid of the middleman? No. No, because uh, and if we did that, a lot of y'all would starve too. A lot of y'all don't know how to work a garden. That's maybe correct, but it's a you know you can take maybe fifteen years of education. Fifteen years that's a long time to go without enough. that's a long time to go without a meal. Fifteen years. I, I never said that we have to spend that fifteen years without a meal. Well, who's gonna give you the meal without fifteen years while you're learning how to do it? We can keep the system of governance as it is now and phase it out slowly over time. Why don't we just go in and fix fix our government now? Get rid of the corruption get rid of the but corruption we can't system. Fix it in one fell swoop. Unless you're talking about a revolution that topples the entire government, in which case that's an idea I can get behind. No, I don't want to topple no. Y'all, you can't get behind. I'm telling you, you don't want to get behind. Have you ever been to war? No. You don't want to go. I don't. Yeah, war's nasty. You wouldn't want to be a part of it. So let's I, let's try to change out the people in government that are screwing both of us 
Antifa and Patriots? Well, I mean, I would, you're a loyalist. We're the Patriots. No, I'm, I'm a loyalist. Patriot. No, no, you're not, you're a criminal. I disagree. I've not done any criminal acts. Well, you're in favor of you're in favor of criminal acts. I'm not in favor of burning nothing down. I'm not in favor of stealing but, but nothing. Just like again, I've already used this example: the Boston Tea Party. You would have said law and order, lock them up. Nope, right? I would have thrown that tea in the in the in the in the, uh, in the bay. So why did you switch your position? Why did I switch my position? You go from breaking the law in 1776 to following law and order now? Well, no, that was taxation without representation back then. You got representation now. Well, what about people that live in D.C.? They don't have any representation in the federal government, yet they still pay federal taxes? Yes, that's What about terrible. Puerto Rico, Guam, Virgin Islands, and so forth? Well, how much money do we pay for Puerto Rico? Didn't we just send them a bunch of money when they had a hurricane? We pay for their defense. They do get something for the money that they're paying. So they, it's taxation without representation. That could be true. Is Puerto Rico represented in the federal government? No, I don't believe they are. So they're taxed without representation. Yeah, you could be right on that one. All right. I still don't want to burn down the government. I'm not saying that we... I want to change people out of they power. They don't do anything. Congress is peacing out on vacation until September. Yeah, I don't understand why they're doing. Problematic. They're not doing their jobs. So yeah, if they're not exactly. doing their jobs, let's fire them. Oh, I, that's why I'm all in favor of that. Do, let's fire them. I'm all in favor of that. That's why I say vote red in November. All oh, red. Doesn't do anything. Well, yeah, it would. I want to get rid of the Democrats. They're just as guilty as Democrats. It's all one corrupt big club. Let's well, they are, but we need to get rid of the Democrats because Democrats stick together like glue on everything. Mm, they I, don't I cross. Well, I think we need to get rid of both of them. Well, we can't get rid of both of them. We only got a red and a blue choice in November. We only have a red or a blue choice in November. So let's get rid of all the all the all the blue ones because they stick together, and then we work on getting rid of the Republicans that are that are traitors to this country. I think we should get rid of all the traitors. I don't really care what party they are. Well, that's what. But I'm saying, do it. All the Democrats in November. Then we weed out. I. I 95% of our government needs to be changed. I agree. Except for Trump. I disagree. Trump's the best president this Trump country's ever cancer. had. No. Trump, Trump's the best. And if your your anger would let you see what he's doing, I think you would get behind him with the saving, trying to save the children that are Who's being trafficked. My problem? How do you feel about Barack Obama? Oh, I think he's a traitor. I agree. I think they're all traitors. The only difference between us is that I actually think they're all traitors, and I think they're all bad, whereas you just, for some reason, think that the Republicans are the good ones. No, no, no. The Republicans are bad, too. No, no. No. Only only Republican I like is Trump. Okay. That's the only Republican I like. The rest of them are, are like I said, I would say 95% of our government is corrupt. Okay. That's why Republicans and Democrats okay. hate Trump, because he's going after the, the ones that are... Uh, I don't know. Do you believe in the satanic cabal? The elite? I believe in many cabals. I'm not necessarily sure I would attribute Satan to them, but I think there's a lot of global, you can use the word Illuminati or, you know, uh, other sorts of cults out there that are up to no good. Yeah. Well, that's the ones Trump's going against. That's the ones he's fighting. And he's been fighting them since. Proof of that? Because, again, well, he, yeah. he, when Ghislaine Maxwell, who was one of the co-conspirators of the Epstein controversy, went to prison, Trump said, I hope she, I, I wish her well. So yeah. do you have evidence of him actually going against these people? Well, yeah, she's in, she's in prison. She's actually in Epstein's black book and has gone to his private island a few times and has actually been. Trump's I never been to the Epstein. island. Trump's never been to the island. Are you sure about that? Well, according to uh, Virginia Guthrie, in her paperwork that was just released, Trump's never been to the island. Trump's never been to the mansion sure in New York. All, all of his life, he's never been to any of these private islands? Are you sure? Well, that's what she said in her her, her testimony. Okay. I'm hoping so to God that he hasn't. Seeing someone means that he wasn't there. Huh? One person not seeing someone else means that they weren't there? Well, no, that's, that's, you're, you're true on that, but uh, I don't think he's been there. I don't think he's been on the well, flight Well, my point lines. is that, you know, if you're documented at parties with Jeffrey Epstein... You're documented with Ghislaine Maxwell. Uh -huh. Chances are you're probably not a good person. 
Well, yeah, he's a he's been at all the parties. He's a billionaire. You know, they all were yeah. invited to the same parties. He was well, the one that wasn't that. he was the one that wasn't drinking and partaking in the bullshit that they were doing though. He wasn't. No, Trump don't drink or smoke. Trump, Trump and Trump's okay. the one that, and Trump's the one that kicked Epstein out of Mar-a-Lago and give information to the the prosecutors of, against uh, Epstein. Now, when they asked him right. about what do you would you wish her? Yeah, I wish her well. You know, I hope she does good. And he said in that interview, you know, her boyfriend died in prison, so I wish her well. Okay. Now that's just not that's not the only one because they used to say sex trafficking and all that. That's a conspiracy theory. It's not a conspiracy theory. Look at the number of pedophiles that have been locked up since Trump took office. I don't think Trump is doing anything specifically to combat pedophiles, though. I do think he is upticking it because he wants people like you to think he's actually innocent. You know, have you ever heard of the term whoever smelt it, dealt it? Yes. I think that is what Donald Trump is up to. I've also heard a hit dog hollers. Have you heard that term? I haven't until today. A hit dog hollers, which means the ones that are screaming the loudest have the most to hide. I don't disagree. And all the ones that are, and that's what I'm saying. When you look at, if Trump was part of this group, why would they all be going after him? Who is all? The Democrats and Republicans. The never Trumpers. Well, the never Trumpers are cringe. They're losers. Who well, that's the rhino. Well, that's the rhino. Look here. George Bush. W. Bush is just as dirty. Clinton's just as yeah, dirty. Yeah. Obama. Yeah. Daddy Bush. Reagan was probably a good guy because they shot him. Well, he is not that great, but. Well, I think that he. But, I think uh, he had to play the game, after, especially after they shot him. I, I, we can agree to disagree there. I hope I hope a lot more of this stuff comes out, like with the 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 spying on Trump and his crew by Obama and I his. Hope so too. Obama. Well, that's what I'm saying. We'll see more and more of how this is going to lead. Yesterday, with that FBI agent uh, pleading guilty, it shows the direction that they're going in. Because Barr said the night before that, he said we got news tomorrow. It's not a big bombshell news. That's pretty big bombshell news of an FBI agent lawyer pleads guilty to tampering with evidence. That's a pretty big deal. I agree. But Barr played it down to that's not a real big deal. But so if that's not a big deal, what the hell is a big deal to him? Maybe there's worse stuff out there. Have you heard about a video called Frazzle Drill? I have not. There's supposedly a video called Frazzle Drip that was on Epstein, I mean, a Wiener's laptop that supposedly had video of Hillary Clinton and Huma Abedin torturing a child. If you go back and listen to... That would not surprise me in the slightest. If you go back and listen to Sidney Powell's testimony, which is uh, General Flynn's lawyer, she talks about it. She talks about this video on there made seasoned detectives sick, throw up. That would have to be a pretty bad video. That's why I, th- I think we're dealing with something a whole lot. Uh, it's it's God and the devil. We're, it's not right versus left. It's right versus wrong. I agree. It's good versus evil. Right versus I think it's the rich motherfuckers versus the poor. Yeah. And I think we're going to, have you heard of Nezra or Jezra? Have you ever heard of that? Say that one more time. Nezra or Jezra. I have not. It's supposed to, Trump's supposed to, they're saying Trump's going to put us back on the gold standard. Okay. And there's going to be a, a, like a jubilation thing where all your debts are wiped out. From the money that he's taken from these people, the Rothschilds, the the Bilderbergs, the, the Illuminati, the people that have trafficked in children and gotten rich for decades. He's gonna. He's confiscating their wealth from the EO he did in December uh, 17, where he said, "If you're involved in crimes against children or crimes against humanity, we will confiscate your property." Sounds good to me. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a good thing. We'll see if it pans out. I hope it pans out. Hey, where are you in? You in Georgia? I am in North Carolina. North Carolina. 
And your and your handle is uh Cyber Demon. Cyber Demon five three one. Cyber. My show is above it all. Yeah, I, I would like I said I seen you on there earlier. Uh, watching the the things about uh what's going on at Stone Mountain. Mm-hmm. And I just wanted to talk. With you. I, I appreciate you calling in. Cause look, I do no this. Problem. I do this show every day of the week, seven days a week, and I allow people to people to call in. And I'm on Facebook and YouTube and Twitch and Twitter and all that stuff. All right. But I appreciate you calling. Mm-hmm. All right. No problem. All right. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Have a good one, now. You too. Be safe out there. I'll try my best. All right. Trump 2020. I disagree. <laughs> Who are you going to vote for? I don't know. Well, you got two choices, Trump or Biden. Uh, maybe I'll just throw the ballot away and burn something. Oh, my goodness. There we go. All right. What? Thanks for calling. All right. Y'all have a good one. All right. You too. Bye-bye. So that was interesting. <laughs> Flat Earth, what's your name? Where you calling from? Why did you torture us, Jamie? Because I wanted to talk to her. I wanted to find out what she's, because she's Antifa. Yes, but no one enjoys her, man. I hear you, but you got to talk to people, man. That's the only way you can, that's the only way you can have a conversation is talk to somebody. And you can't just talk to people that agree yeah, with you. That's true. I just wanted to give a shout out to my, to my man, Jamie here. Big boy, Jamie. Yeah. All right. And I just wanted to say that that girl's an annoying bitch. Yeah, but she's got her own opinion, man. You got to respect other people's opinion. No, it wasn't. Right, so I said, appreciate you hanging up. Oh, my gosh. You got to talk to people, man. Flatter, what's the name? Where you calling from? Well, hello there, stranger. How are you doing? <laughs> 